looking for authentic Italian, Little Italy is the place to be. And today I'm at an Italian market that's been feeding the neighborhood for decades. Franco, we put the word out there asking where we can find the best markets. We had a number of suggestions, including one from Christos, who said, Cante de Savoy all day. Why is Cante de Savoy Chicago's best? Well, we've been here for a long time. We keep everything fresh, we keep it small batch. It shows itself in the food. Great food, but then you're also a great shopping spot. A lot of the stuff you're just not gonna find at your typical grocery store. Things you wouldn't be able to buy at any regular deli they carry here. Different wines, we have a whole section of different types of pastas. Surely is a convenience to have that market in the neighborhood. Pick up dinner while you're here getting lunch. Good neighborhood spot. What are you known for when it comes to behind the counter? The sandwich we're actually gonna make today, the Natalia. My wife created the sandwich. <laughs> named it after herself which is what people tend to do here. Mm. Bring it up, yeah. Mamma mia! And at this family-run market, Mama knows best. We've done a lot of shows so far in our yeah. five years. I know, yeah. This really is a first. We've never made homemade mozzarella on the show. Wow. So this is This what? is cheese curd and boiling salted water. It's really starting to form together to become a solid like right. that. Science. Brittany Nye the science girl. Bill Nye the science guy. We stretch it, then shape it into knots and balls. I don't want to waste this, so I should you no, know, finish it going. up. Never waste anything. No. You heard mama. Once that's finished, it's time to panini. So we're making the pesto. We're going to start with one clove of garlic, pine nuts, pine nuts. basil leaves, olive oil. Mm. Oh, so good it and fresh. Good. And now the best yeah. part. I say the best part because I love cheese. We slice our eggplant and hit the press. <laughs> I hear the sound of it screaming. <laughs> it sounds good, I like it. Ah! Make sure that they're not kind of sticking. Oh no. My fault. A little pesto, some fresh moths, eggplant, and roasted red pepper finish her off. If you like deli sandwiches, they're the best. You just feel like you're really getting something that your mother or father would make. It's a really special sandwich. But before we eat this sandwich, I have a little shopping to do. Shamimbella. What are these? We eat a lot, we get to eat a Pepperoni. Pretty, your sandwiches are ready. Time to eat. I'm just gonna park this over here. Let's dig in. You can put the mozzarella on anything, and it's gonna be good. Why do you think that's important for you guys to, to take the time to make it by hand? Just a tradition in Italian cooking, really, that my mom kind of just keeps going. Everything's gotta be fresh, everything's gotta be made right then and there. Your wife did good. She came she did. with a great creation, I gotta say. She usually does. <laughs> I've got some more shopping I need to do, because I'm definitely going to bring some more stuff home with me. But uh, let's finish up being in them. We'll work. Sounds good. 